Hey guys, welcome back to Factions. Today we have a canning video. So, me and Fatal, uh, well, you're in the call. Hello. Hello. So, we decided that there's not too many people on the server know how to cannon and just don't like have cannons that can raise bases that are on the server, including ours. Uh, so, we decided to release a couple cannons and uh, do a tutorial on how to use them. So today we're using, we're going to be running my 255 uh, loading barrel regen buster and his 100 factor regen buster. So yeah, we're going to be doing a bit of cannoning, a couple walls and regens. I obviously did a bit more because loading barrel you can bust all of these. So. Hopefully it doesn't lag the server too much. But. <laughs> Other than that, so would you like to start off with your? Yeah, we'll we'll start with a hundred stacker if you want. Yeah, go for it. And so it's a it's a one shot with about. Do you have your regen bus uh, guide right Yes, I do. Yes, you do. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Proud of you. Okay, so this is your normal, is your normal one-shot guider. Ignore that fail. Yeah. I know it's happening unless you want to explain why it failed. Yo, my frames when I play sound. Yeah, my frames have been going all crazy today. I don't know why. Whenever I play sand, my frames drop to like something stupid. So I am back to thousand. Okay, so there we go. So it's a one shot cannon and it can region burst. It doesn't clip at anything. It's got about a 30 to 40 box scatter, I believe. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. Which looks very, very nice on these It's a 41 block scatter, which is a, a pretty decent sized scatter for a, a 100 stacker, anyway. It, it can do, but I don't think you really bother nuking with a 40 stack, with a 100 stack. I, I wouldn't see I wouldn't see the point of nuking with it, it's not got a very big slab bust. But it, as you can see it's actually a, a insta hybrid. And an insta hybrid is for water lava walls and usually where you have a one shot cannon, say you um you when you <coughs> when you one shot <clears throat> your sand stacks and then your water will push back whereas in this the water doesn't push back so you have this air pocket so the water won't go into the lava water walls and create a mess for you so that's that's also nice that it's, it's, it's a hybrid which is really nice and running's new host is really nice because you can see the scatter work perfectly yeah, all night. 24 hours straight. <laughs> so, to to region bust with this cannon, what you have to do is you have to disable your scatter, which is this here. And then you have to disable, you, disable your red sands here. And then you need to change your guider, so you need to lower both your sand and your hammer by one like this. And then you shoot, and it should pre stamp. There you go. And then once you pre stamp, you enable your red sand again. And then once you've done that, you go into here, you take out your guider. You break these two blocks, you need a slab and a trapdoor for your region bus guide. 
So you place a slab on this block, and then you place a trapdoor here. And you, you you get your sand, you shoot, and you pray that it works. <laughs> There you go. And then if you just want to clear the region, you know, the easiest way to do that would just get rid of the, um, to, is to get rid of the sand stack, so just like enable your scatter and stuff, so you can see the faint place. So you need to break down that. And then what you want to do is you need to stack inside the region. So what you need to do is disable your red sands for now, and your and your uh, and your scatter get a basic sand stack going like that. And then you've got two blocks left. So what you'll do is uh, you don't need this sand here. This is your region of sand, so you can just get rid of that for now. And what you do is you need your scatters off. You would just shoot with no sand, just shoot a red sand so, and that should go into here or not yeah, yeah. yeah that, that should work no, it would help if I had the red sand turned on yeah, that would help yeah. and then, that, then you should get the one piece of sand just there like that and then now what I usually do is I enable this, and then you can you can paste sand if you really want to. You don't really need to. So put you turn your scatter back on. And what I do is I usually just break the guider, so it's a flat guider. And you can just water all this again if you want. And get ready for a big explosion. And then what it should happen is this: all the sand should go inside that one block gap and the scatter. And it should make it dry and then just blow the hell out of the region. Like that. Obviously, you wouldn't get all this coming out the back because it'd be water behind it. But I'm lazy and I don't want to water behind it. And then if you go here, you see that it's at the top of the barrel, no clipping problems. You put your normal guider back and just carry on going. Now, of course, you have to be considerate of how far away you're shooting. Yeah, this cannon should be able to shoot. 10 to 20 chunks easily. So, if you're shooting farther than that, I'm not sure why you'd be shooting more than 20 chunks with um, 100 factors, but if you are, then you just I'd need to add more power. So, you just break this, add more dispensers, and bring up your slabs. And if you add enough, it you should work. That. Never mind. Yeah. You, you won't need to add more. You wouldn't need to add more, not for a hundred stack yeah. anyway. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. see where you'd need to shoot twenty chunks for a hundred stack. I don't know. You never know. Just in case you want to go for that uh, OP range, that's what, like why twenty. Or great. Now Rin is going to show you his cannon. Yeah. Okay. So you guys have seen this before. Um, in a couple of my videos, uh, I try to explain how to use this. So I'm going to go as in depth as possible. So this is a floating barrel uh, to describe your buster. So floating barrel means you can shoot at any one of these locations. Here, here. Are you showing? Yeah, I'll show them. So you can shoot. You can shoot down yeah. here. Then you then you shoot here. Here, 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 and down here. So you can shoot. Is this a it's five wide? It's five wide. So you can shoot in five different areas. Yeah. So you can shoot five different uh, X slash Z directions. Well, I guess that's uh, X direction. I would use in the wrong direction. And anywhere between the top of the barrel and the bottom of the barrel. So. Just start off with the far left. I have no guider, so the CMB is just land the glass and shoot out. So and the reason the, re the reason why it does this is because of this here. 
You see all these trap doors here, these pistons? Yeah. And this is actually an important part. When you were shooting anywhere other than straight, or not straight, when you're shooting anywhere other than the first slot in the barrel, you will have to enable the switch down here. Come here. This will uh, change the trap doors. This so will change the trap doors. So this is when you this is for straight shooting when it looks like this. Yep. And then you'd have you then you'd have a guide like here. And then you can switch, flip the switch. The trap doors will. So then when the they, when, they, will, when uh, your sand and your down. TNT hits this, it travels upwards and slides across. Yeah. So this is your main guider here. Uh, so if you don't know, hammer on top and on bottom with all the fun stuff. So let's shoot at the far left wall. I have guider enabled and slap up enabled. Yeah. It's not a very big scatter, but it does the job. You know when you try to when we try to uh, increase the scatter, it screwed up the recent bus again. I don't know why it does that. We can try. So this is how you go about moving your barrel, you just keep, the closer you go you just keep moving it further and further across and when you get to this point, where I am, yeah, and then, you would need, then you would need to activate the lever, so it doesn't, because if you don't activate the lever and you're trying to shoot straight, most likely it will blow up your cannon. Uh, it won't blow up the cannon, at least this one, it'll just go crazy over to the left side. It could blow it up. I've I did it before. It, 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 can, it can blow up the barrel. Yeah, it can. But I found with this cannon it mostly just shoots sideways. <laughs> it tries to let shoot in at the foot bell. And then for the last one, like Fiddle was saying, we need to disable that lever. So you go down here, you flip this switch, and then you see all this activates like, oh, you see all this activates like this. So you see us, so then it won't slide across it, it'll just go straight forward. Yeah, you have all these fancy switches down here. All oh, expensive. And this should not lag because it's straight shooting now. And there we go. So, first, regen. We want to do a couple things. One, we want to go to the barrel. One block. Show you that it's a real regen. Paste in the sand. We want to, you want to come over. Come hither. Here. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, this switch is for scatter. It's off. Scatter's off. Up 
here. This is for Slappa. Uh, both of these are for Slappa, but they're different Slappa. So, this is going to come with, when the, you get the schematic, this is going to be automatically on. Turn that off for free stacking. And I think that's it. Yeah. So yeah, for pre-stacking you have to lower your sand and your hammer by one, just like in the uh, hundred stacker. Same principle for here. Forgot, I forgot to do one thing. I'm here. I forgot to enable the. I forgot to disable the one-shot fan. So that's gonna be the redstone on this red block. So hang on, hang on. Stuff. I need to find you. There it is. This red block here. If you want one shot off, you break it. If you want one shot on, you put redstone on it. Yeah. So for pre stacking, I should have had that off. I just put the stand over there. I forgot. Look at the end though. Uh, now for regen busting, turn both those on and turn this one on. Here. Paste in the sand. And really, you only need like a couple layers. There. The way, because this one, this this cannon is different to the hundred stacker. The hundred stacker uses like a concept where it like nukes and restarts. This one uses an order of entities to region bust. Yeah. And then we need to change the guy. You want to change the guy? So right here, all the way back, and slide like that. So you're gonna have a one and a half block. And you'll know because by the, when you put your head at the top, or sorry, head at the bottom of the slab, and fly over to the wall, there is going to be a block and a half of space above the sand and where your head is. That's when you know you stack correctly. And then we can clear. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call a fail. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, what am I getting? Oh, I forgot to enable the one shot. Bam. Good job, man. Hopefully it works this time. Yeah, we'll see until my dad is working on Please don't want to embarrass me further. There you go. There you go. And the good thing about this cannon is it has a little order of entity scatter so it breaks the sand stack down. Yeah, so you don't have to do what I do on the 100 stack. Okay, so now we can clear this region if I want to. I like to put my head at the bottom of the barrel and see where it's going to go. Two for one. I'm really good at forgetting one shot, Sam. So That's two for one. 
ten of you for fails. I'm counting these. I'm the count. And there we go. Do you want to go sideways for the next redone? I mean, you do, we can show them how to do it, but it's the exact same principle, but you just yeah, go it's straight to. the same to. principle, except you just have to change the guider so that the, uh, you just have to move the yellow clay over to. And then you do the same step. So you free stack, turning everything off, uh, including the one shot sand, unlike this. Then you. Change your guider, and don't forget to change your guider down one, uh, so that you have the correct stack height. Because otherwise, your reason bus won't work. The band will clip. Uh, then you enable flat bus, enable reason bus, and change your guider, and then and uh, one bus band, and that'll just bust the reason. You can then stack. In there by disabling everything again, and then just you can turn whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck you want on to uh, for that two block space against the obby, and that'll just clear it out pretty nicely. So, yeah, so it's a tutorial of the super five stacker and the 100 stacker. If you would like, I, I don't think we missed anything, right? I don't want to end this off. No. Okay. okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, let us know if we did a good job. <laughs> if you'd like, if you'd like more cannons, then just comment down below which ones you'd like to see. We have, like, we could show you guys a normal 230 straight shooter. We could show you a 240 adjustable barrel, completely different to this one, what running cannons. This is a floating barrel, the adjustable barrel is um like this so you'd have a barrel like this on on the ground like that yeah. difference is basically just the placement of the barrel since his the one he's talking about would be a 240 stacker and this is a 255 stacker we so. could show a normal 255 stuff like that yeah so we got plenty more cans that we can show off and tutorials about. So if you'd like to do that, comment. If, uh, if you have a cannon that you'd like us to try to figure out and do a tutorial, I guess you could do that too. But I'm not sure if I'm going to open any links. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bad experience opening links. Um, so yeah. I think that's going to be it. Uh, if you think we missed anything, uh, Please tell us, either by coming on the server. We'll, or, we can leave the scams down in the description for you. Yeah, the scams will be up on Mediafire, and I'll put links in the description. Uh, this is going to go on my channel. I'm not sure if Fatal's going to upload it, but uh, he did record it because I'm on the PC and not the Mac, so I can't record it. Or at least I haven't figured it out. So, yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.